Hey guys, Deligracy here today and I'm doing another get ready with me video because the last one you guys actually really liked, much to my surprise. I'm about to go out for dinner, but I'm actually going to be practicing my makeup and hair that I'll be wearing tomorrow night uh, for an engagement party and I'll also put on the dress that I'm wearing for that engagement party as well. I just do really, really, really want to let you guys know I am usually a gamer on YouTube, I'm not a beauty vlogger, but I do have a lot of fun doing these get ready videos because I just like having a bit of a chin wag while I get ready. Now it was really, really handy. Uh, in the last get ready with me video, you guys gave me a lot of really, really good tips. And one of them was when I first put on my concealer, this is just a MAC one that my friend got me. Uh, you guys said you need to use this finger to dab it on under your eyes because under your eyes, the area is really, really sensitive. So we're just gonna do a bit of that. And I've also learned to put the concealer down your nose as well since last time, so that's pretty cool. And I've also been told to get a beauty blender. Okay, now I'm going to use my MAC foundation, which is the Studio Fix Fluid. I got this foundation because my friend, who's amazing with makeup, Jasmine, who I'm, whoops, hoping to make a video with soon, uh, she buys or tells me what makeup to buy all the time. So I just say, okay, I need a brow pencil. And she goes, you gotta buy this one. And she'll link me and yeah, it's a good little setup. Now I said in my last video that I don't use a foundation brush. I do own a Mac one that set me back a considerable amount of money. I think in Australia, they're like 60 Australian dollars, which is very expensive. I never use it. I just don't like it. So I think I'm gonna try out the beauty blender. And I know you guys are cringing as I'm like, Alrighty, now I've got my foundation on and a bit of concealer under my eyes. I actually invested in a little contour kit. Uh, I got this palette and the one thing I really wanted was the banana colored uh, palette right here because I am a graphic designer so I do know a little bit about skin coloring and I always wanted yellow uh, to kind of counteract the blue bluish uh, bags under my eyes. I am first of all going to probably start with a little banana under my eyes. Na, 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 and I don't know if you guys are going to cringe but I'm actually going to pinch the brush and dab it underneath and I'm just going to have to look down here so I can see what I'm doing in the mirror below. Um, but yeah, I'm just dabbing. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, booty. I better be careful with these lashes. I don't think I'm even meant to put mascara on them. It was weird getting them put on. At first I felt really anxious because I was like, oh my God, are they gonna cut my natural eyelashes off? Or oh my God, what are they doing? But then, cause you're lying down and they're just like playing with your lashes. You can feel them going. Doo, 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 doo. I felt really anxious to begin with, but then, cause it takes I think about 45 minutes of lying down. It was the most relaxing thing. I loved it. I want to go back just to be able to have an excuse to lie down again. Yeah, I'm really packing this bad boy on and I'm going uh, along my nose just here too. And right up to here. I've only contoured my face a couple of times. I've watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube. So I feel like I am definitely a beginner at doing this. Uh, so if you want to know the proper way to contour, probably don't copy me. The more you do it, you kind of can look at yourself and be like, okay, I've got too much shade or highlight in that area. I think I need to pull it back a bit next time. So hopefully this time I do an okay job. This stuff is not what I do. The video I watched on YouTube, they said to use this color and this color, not the middle color. I'm not really sure why. I guess it really does depend on your skin tone. I probably should be using this color because it looks more like my skin. But I'm gonna do what the video told me. So I'm gonna go on here and they say to always tap the brush and they always do this. It looks so satisfactory and it really is. And then we take this color. So you can go like that and use this line, apparently as the contour line. So I'm gonna try that out. I, I get the feeling that might not necessarily be right, but it's what I'm at least experimenting with right now. Oh, it's so comfortable. And then you're meant to take it up to your temple as well and just do a little bit of shading around here apparently, but make sure you don't go onto your cheekbone because it's right here that you really want that to go. Ba boom. Like a color here. I'm gonna use a bit of this, give it a tap tap. And uh, this is the one you have to, I suppose, be a little bit more definite with where you're putting it. I guess the more familiar 
professionally you are with your lines, the better you get at this. But I think we're starting to get quite a good definition now. Oh my god, I just put so much on. I look like a roasted tomato. Okay, well I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that, aren't we? So also don't forget to shade around your, your hairline, but not up the very top. At least, I don't know, I don't think you're meant to. And then to avoid your double chin, apparently you do it just a little bit along your jawline too. Just gives you more definition on your jaw. And we love a chiseled jawline. You still. So we're not going to use this one, but we're going to use this one here, and this is going to be our highlighting. I'm going to use the same brush. I know, I don't have any other brushes to use, so we're just going to dust it off here. And we're going to be putting that, I reckon, ooh, I guess you meant to do it on the other side of the line, but then I feel like it should be here, like there, like a bit of a, a wing. So I'm going to just go with what I think, because... Clearly, I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we be highlighting all day long in the center of the head here. Uh, because this will, I assume, broaden your forehead, which is, I guess, a good thing. I don't know. Do we want it through the V? I don't know. I don't know. I think at this stage you'd probably want to use ideally a bit of blush or some rouging on top of your apple cheeks here. Apple cheeks, but I don't have any. I mean, I have red lip gloss. I could use this on my cheeks, but I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to use bronzer, which is dark golden, uh, this one. It's a mineralized skin finish and I just have a body shop brush. So this one's been pretty well used and I'm going to do the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to be careful not to put too much on there. Okay. Then I might even just use a little bit to kind of blend it. I don't know if you guys are cringing right now. Uh, what is this? Is this highlighter? What is this? Lighting powder. This was expensive, but it's really good. So I don't know what we're going to do for eyeshadow. I actually really don't know how to do eyeshadow. I need someone to teach me. And I'm also going to put a bit of this on my cheekbones too. Just at the very top above where I should have put the bronzer. I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose. Cross this line. Just with my finger because, I don't know, someone said in the last video to use my finger. So I'm going to do that. Can you guys see this? Oh my god, I have such a pouch. Okay, now for my eyes. I don't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. All I have to do is da -da 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 -da. I did get a goodie bag from Sephora. They gave me this cosmetics by Janie Kern Brow Power. We've got a double-ended eyebrow machine. So let's see. Oh, I kind of like this crayon. Whenever you get your eyebrows done, you're always so freaked out to look in the mirror. Like I'm always like, okay, I really don't even want to look in case you've completely removed them. And the worst thing was the chick who did mine, she kept looking and she's like, mm, they're not quite even. Oh my gosh, please don't screw up my eyebrows. Uh, but I just bring them up like this. And then I bring down and angle the other part to pull them down. Okay. Bring that down. Beautiful. I'm trying so hard not to get the new lashes because I feel like I shouldn't get them. No, I got it on my nose! Okay, we made it way worse. No! That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I'm really angry at the female race for getting into false eyelashes because I would not have felt like I needed to try these out had not every other girl I know get them. We're terrible like that, us women. 
Alright, so I guess that's my look of my face done. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit of hair straightening or something and I'll do something with my hair. Alrighty, so this is the final look and I've put some watches and jewellery on and I can't find my rings but that's okay. I think I kind of like the hair to the side but I didn't have hairspray. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the actual outfit.